guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from MarkwoodAdventures.com. Together, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. I want to feel like Let's I should go. Let's not ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tobacco Advent Day 15. Hey. It's a Sunday. Happy Sunday morning. That's right. And we thought we'd, we'd um, begin this, like we have several others, with talking about yesterday's tobacco. And this one, I, I have to admit, was was controversial. But I think before mm -hmm. we talk about tobacco, um, I want to talk about biscuits. Sure. We live in the South, so we eat a lot of biscuits, or as yeah. my dad would say, biscuit sandwiches. They're so good. Uh, there's a funny story there that I need to, to tell. Anyway, what's your favorite biscuit? Uh, tenderloin. You got a biscuit with a fried pork, tenderloin. Pork, pork tenderloin, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, mine happens to be a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Um, where do you prefer to buy your pork tenderloin? Um, probably Carter Brothers. It's right next to my house, and I think it's my favorite. Okay. Um, I like a place called the Biscuit Factory. There's also a Biscuitville, there's Country Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Everybody in this area that sells barbecue does a, a breakfast that usually mm -hmm. consists of biscuits. You can get grits, mm -hmm. which is a cornmeal kind of a product. Plus there's always the, the less traditional fare. Uh, McDonald's has biscuits, Hardee's has biscuits, Chick-fil-A has biscuits. Yeah. All right, so, um, and while I like a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, I don't care for them everywhere I go. Did, when you get a, a tenderloin, do you, do you like it everywhere? No. Um, there, there's a place in town that they tend to overcook the tenderloin, and the breading falls off. It's not, not as good. Mm, yeah, well, then, okay, McDonald's, their, their biscuit's not bad. They don't give me enough bacon. So, so my favorite biscuit from McDonald's. Bacon. It's probably bacon. What's my favorite biscuit from McDonald's? Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. No, it would no. be it would be the burrito. <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> well, but that's true. Now, when I go to McDonald's, they have breakfast burritos. That's what I, or that's that's my that's my go-to biscuit. Anyway, so the point is, if you hadn't already gathered this, um, we asked folks to send us some of their favorite tobaccos. Um, and we knew this was bound to happen, that someone's favorite would be something that we wouldn't care for. That tobacco from yesterday just didn't, didn't strike my taste buds well. Yeah. And we did something that I said that we would try not to do, and that is after we smoked it, we went to tobaccoreviews.com. Outside. An, an excellent website, by the way. But we, we don't go there for two reasons for these reviews. The first one is we don't want to be tainted by other people's opinion. Mm -hmm. And the second is it's owned by uh, an e-tailer. It's their content. Even your comments on their site is their content. Yeah. And so we don't, we don't want to use their content. Um, but we went there just to see, you know, how are we really off on this? And uh, the comments there were from hot to cold, like every other review that you see on that website. The thing that really shocked me is over and over again people were comparing that to Lane 1Q which is my go-to everyday tobacco and I wouldn't get any comparison between that and Lane 1Q. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Yeah, then I agreed. So we, I think the, the biscuit's a good analogy. We, we wanted to be very careful about um, being positive because we like tobacco and we are just so grateful and appreciative that you guys have uh, willingly shared your favorites with us. And that tobacco just, um, it was kind of, I think musky was a good word. It, it just, it didn't have the flavor and it may have been the fermenting process. Yeah. It just, it didn't do it for me either. Um, and of the ones that we have had, um, that I think is, is so far the one I, I will be least likely to uh, reach for um, going forward. Not, that's I will. I will. We're gonna finish what was sent and and give it a second go because you never know about these things. You know what I would do with that tobacco, um, and I think I will do. I've got a couple tobaccos that are just a, a, a specific tobacco. For example, I have a Virginia. Hmm. I have some Burleys that I find they're so one note. I think I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna blend some of that in. Cool. Because to me, what that what that had, like like Boy was saying, it was it was a little bit musty or musky. Um, I think if you put some Virginia in there, that would brighten it up. Yeah. A bit maybe for me for my palate would make it more pleasing. <laughs> so anyway, 
Uh, just in case any of you are watching these videos and making purchasing decisions based on our taste, first off, don't. You shouldn't. <laughs> but there you go. We just want to we want to be sure that we're being honest with you all about this. But thank you for sending that to us. Yeah, I'm, Mark, glad, I'm just glad we had that opportunity to, yeah. to have that conversation, right? Because I yeah. love talking about biscuits. That's right. <laughs> All right, number 15. <coughs> Once again, cornament going out to somebody. Take the tobacco there, boy. This is from Mr. Mike Miller <laughs> to Kevin. <laughs> All right, first off, he sent, he, I don't even know how many he sent to us. Um, well, clearly, I think this is the fourth. I think this is the fourth one from Mike. Yeah, this is the fourth one. Do you remember from Nashville? Yeah. What, uh, Mike uh, down there. Mike showed up. We were at the campsite together, and, and the guys were kind For of the Music sharing, City Pipe Show. Sharing some things at the campsite. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike shows up with this giant Tupperware container, like the thing you'd, you'd store winter coats under the, <laughs> under the bed. Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And it was giving out tons and tons of samples. Does Mike just not like tobacco? Is that the deal? <laughs> just... <laughs> Might be. No, he's just obviously a very generous guy. Yeah. And, he, and I think he, just, he was probably just on a, a quest to find tobaccos that he likes, right? Sure. So, As are we all. Nice coincidence. All right, so Mike sent us F and K Lancer Slices. All right, so that, is it a slice? Is it a, does it look like a... Yes. Oh, yeah, there you go. So this is a... A very, very coarse cut. I think basically what they start with is they start with a, uh, have you seen where they'll compress the tobacco down and then cut flake off of it? Mm -hmm. Right? The orientation of those leaves and the way they cut it is what gives you that very coarse <sighs> ribbon. And it has let's, a let's see here. very woodsy smell. So um, the tin description says this almost black flake tobacco combines the best grades of naturally sweet Virginia and smoky Latakia, matured together under pressure. Ha uh -huh. see? Under pressure. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ice, ice baby. Um, a wonderfully smooth and mild yet full-bodied mixture. Very reminiscent of old bangal slices. Old bangal slices. Um, all right, so Latakia, all right, you know how I'm going to feel about that. However, I like full body tobacco, so let's go for this. I'm interested to see see your reaction to the Latakia now that your cold has kind of subsided a little bit. Yeah, because it was it was cutting through the cold <laughs> a bit last time. and This is one of those types of uh, cuts that can be, of tobacco, that can be tough to get going, but once it is going, they burn really well. You can, uh, for me, I can put one of these down for quite a number of minutes, and it's still going to burn. But getting it going can be a challenge. Pardon us. Go ahead and light up. Oh my gosh! There's that Latakia. Goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even light it. So you're going to have trouble getting this one going. So I, I, uh, it's going. Want to bet? You know, sometimes, to me, Latakia's taste like smoking a Christmas tree. I did say it. It smelled kind of woodsy. <laughs> yeah, and there we go again. Pack this the same way I pack all my tobacco. It's just, uh, I think it naturally unpacks because the pieces are so springy. Well, and that is, we get a fire going in my fire, uh, my, my stove over there. If you start with big old pick pieces mm -hmm. of wood, it can be tough to get it going, right? Mm -hmm. You need some kindling in there. And this is like big logs. These are the big logs. You just need to. Look at that. <laughs> you can put something else on top of it. They're just, just barely under the surface. You do is you need to take some newspaper and drizzle a little bit of cooking oil on it. 
Stick that down to the bottom of your bowl. Load this in. Good to go. I was a camp kid for years. Camp counselor for years. The way he lights this stove makes me so sad. It it lights. Who was having trouble getting it lit the other night? That's because your idea of kindling is You're not pointing is any here. fingers at anybody. Here, take some toilet paper and a handful of sawdust. I have no toilet paper here. <laughs> I, use a, I use a handful of sawdust. <laughs> here, dig something out of this trash bag. I'm sure you can get it to work. What do you think, I'm reading newspapers in here or something? Gosh. I do have sawdust, that's for darn sure. Unfortunately, some days I have more sawdust than I have firewood. I feel like, back to the tobacco, I feel a bit uh, like I've been mildly betrayed, let down a little bit. By whom? Not pointing any fingers. Because I think I kind of like Latakia. I, I thought you might. Listen to that. Listen to it. Let's get your ear over here. I'm not going to burn you. Mm. Do you hear it? Mm-hmm. And so usually I just smoke what he's smoking. So I mean, this tobacco advent is probably one of the first times I've ever had Latakia. Well, you, we've I, had a I lot. Like we've had a lot here that has had Latakia. I know. I figured you would. Latakia is it's uh, it's definitely got a lot of flavor going on. It's it gets your tongue tingling a bit, mm -hmm. right? Um, some of that can be nicotine as well, but. All right, there you go. What do go. you think? Well, I mean, it's a Latakia, right? That, so to not, me, not that, is, well, that is the predominant flavor in this tobacco. Yeah. You, you just, there's no getting around it. I like it. I'd smoke it again. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's too soon. You should. Let's, let's talk about that tomorrow. I like it. I probably won't smoke it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll smoke it again. I'm going to smoke it again, too. Again, maybe I should follow the, the advice from earlier and say maybe I'll, I'll try putting this with some Virginia or something. I don't know. Still, this will this kick the, the butt of Virginia. That's the thing. Yeah. You can make, mix this with the one from yesterday mm. with some Virginia. And then apparently they mix honey and vanilla <laughs> and caramel, and caramel. <laughs> into a lot of these splints, so... Just take your tobacco to a, to an ice cream bar. <laughs> okay, I know some of you have had Lancer slices because I've heard people talk about it on YouTube. What do you think about it? Hashtag tobacco advent on your stuff. And when you answer, what do you think about it? What? Tell us on YouTube in response to this video. Tell us on uh, tobaccoadvent.com and any place else that you post stuff. Thank you guys for the tobacco and for sharing with your friends what we've got going on here and uh, have a great Sunday look at how this is burning now that's nice you said when it, when it burns it's, it burns it's going it knows what to do <laughs> now you can't turn it off I know I don't think I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to give this the college try I went to a text group <laughs> <laughs> did you where did you I smoke my pot <laughs> college a college try <laughs> If you're giving it the same try you gave in college. So, if you didn't go to college, uh, <laughs> be smoking it for about a quarter of the bowl. Why do Bye. I subject myself to this? Make it a great day, guys. <laughs>